of course this happened, right? Of course it happened on a first solo. We did our landings on 2-2. She has to solo on four. I knew it was gonna be okay. This almost made for a, a boss battle, you could say, because runway four has been her nemesis this whole time. Yes, there it is, there it is. That's it. Her first landing ever by herself. <laughs> Yes, we did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> All right, so since we just got the solo done and she kind of feels like she's starting to get the hang of normal takeoffs and landings, we're gonna introduce short field and soft field takeoffs and landing. We'll start taxiing here and I'll start talking. I want you to be able to hear me and I know that if you're taxiing, you're gonna to be too focused. Yes. So, we are gonna be starting to learn uh, short field and soft field takeoffs and landings, which are very important to know in uh, a lot of different real life scenarios. This is not something that's gonna come in one lesson naturally to her. It's gonna take a while to get this down, but I think they're fun, so I think she'll enjoy them. So I think what we'll do is we'll start with a short field takeoff, and um, I'll kind of I'll have you do it because short field is fairly simple, um, and I'll just kind of be shadowing you. So the procedure for a short field takeoff, we are going to be lining up on the runway. We want to use the maximum runway that we can. So when we taxi out there, we don't follow the yellow taxi line onto the runway. We're going to be going to the right of it and lining up at the very edge of the runway, so we can use as much possible runway as we can. Okay, so basically you back taxi slightly. Yeah, exactly, because okay. that's gonna get us another whatever, 50 feet. Well, that 50 feet could be really important if we're trying not to hit something at the end of the runway. Okay. So with the short field takeoff, we line up on the runway, like I said, we're gonna be using 10 degrees of flaps. So I'll put my flaps down to 10. They're gonna be doing a special takeoff too, because their flaps are at 10. Um, we use maximum allowable runway. So like you said, back taxi a little bit, line up on the center line and then what we do is we go full power while holding the brake so we're going to be at full power and we're going to be sitting still there's a couple of things that we want to check when we do that engine instruments are in the green so we go full power engine instrument uh, engine instruments <laughs> instruments are in the green and we want to check our rpm setting as well it's called our static run-up rpm it needs to be at at least 2065 rpm Okay, so sit, full throttle, hold brakes, 2,600 yep. in the green. 2,065. It's a weird number. Okay. For, for yeah, that's why I was like, 2,600 yeah. are red lines, but I'm like, yeah, okay. No. 2,065. Yep. Okay. 2,065. Plus or minus, or are we... Uh, it needs to be above. above. It just needs, okay. yeah, it needs to be above 2,065. If we don't have 2,065 as our static run-up, then a takeoff is not recommended. Okay, so taxiing out, I'm coming to the right of the line here. And it's easy for me because I can look at my right window and see where my tire is. You might not be able to, <laughs> you, you can't do that from your side. Definitely not. Um, but I'm lining up here. So we're using as much runway as we can really quickly here. The nose is not straight right now, or right. the nose wheel. Now it is. So roll that extra foot forward to get that nose wheel straight. Okay. Maybe I'll just do this one and I'll okay. just talk you through it. Okay. So full power. Engine instruments are in the green. We have 2065 or above RPMs. I'm releasing the brakes. Oh, I'll feel that power. <laughs> okay, we're on the takeoff roll. Airspeed is alive. I'm rotating at 55 and I'm climbing out at VX, which is 60. There's my 60 climb. All right, clear obstacle. So I'm pitching down a little bit to gain some energy here, gain some speed. And then we have approaching VY, flaps up, 
No, it's up. Eight six zero radio check. That makes sense. So did you see, like, we climbed really fast right there at the beginning. Yes. Were you above ten? You you had to been. Uh yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. So you rotate straight into sixty knots of climb. When I say clear obstacle, that's when you can pitch down a little bit to start gaining your airspeed. And then as you're approaching VY, I usually say about 75 is approaching VY, flaps up, and then you'll need a little bit of nose up pressure when bringing those flaps up. So I usually just say flaps up, nose up, because it helps me remember. Okay. So what I really want to explain to you here is the way I do short field landings and the way I like to teach it, and some people, people teach this differently and it's all about how you, if you can perform it, then great. Um, but the way I do it, is I get to my obstacle, I pull the power to idle, and I use my pitch to decide how much energy I want the plane to have based on where my landing point is. So, for example, um, my 50-foot obstacle is at the yellow cones out there, and you can kind of see them, we're going past them right now, okay. at the fence and the yellow cones. Um, I'm gonna pull my power to idle right over those yellow cones, and I'm gonna try and land right on the numbers of 2-2, okay? So my aiming point is the bottom of the numbers. I cannot land before that, but I can land up to 200 feet after that. Um, so the bottom of the numbers, we're pretending like that is like the end of the runway basically. Okay. So um, basically what I wanna demonstrate here is how far I can make the airplane glide just by changing the pitch of the airplane after I pull my power to idle. Climber County traffic 2386 Victor, turning left base runway 22, Climber County. I'm going to do this twice to show it to you in two okay. different ways. Once, I'm going to pull the power to idle and um, keep my pitch up. And I'll show you how early I can land on the runway. The second time I do it, I'm going to pull my power to idle and pitch way down to gain energy, gain speed, and get into ground effect. And then I'll show you how far we can float by doing that. You'll get what I'm saying as well. Yeah, no, it's, it's... I'm saying a lot right yeah. now. Yeah. So it's I, it's like drinking out of a fire hose again. Every like, and we're doing landings and takeoffs, so now I'm like, okay, hold on, which one's which? And you thought you just mastered them, and now you, now we need to do different ones. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm humbled. Like, okay, good. don't get me wrong. <laughs> Coming off of my solo, my expectations were not necessarily changed. I, I did feel a little bit prouder um, walking into the building and, and being like, okay, I did this, let's on, you know, let's go on to the next section. Um, but I know not to be too cocky and proud of myself because that can change in an instant. I felt a little proud walking into the building this morning, <laughs> but hey, no way. I'm like, mm -mm. wearing your sporty shirt. <laughs> Everyone no, knows I that's the solo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, okay. What? What's up? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I need to be 50 feet above the ground at the cones. I'm just gonna say I need to be at 900 feet at the cones because our altitude is 843. So my altimeter needs to say 900 when I'm above these cones. This time I'm gonna show you how early I can land on the runway. All right, 900 feet, maintaining this altitude here. Okay, there's the cones. I'm pulling the power to idle, and I'm keeping my pitch up. See this? I'm not going down at all. I'm just kind of floating down here, and I'm already so slow that a really quick flare oh. is getting me down. It was a little bouncy. Okay, so um, I landed before the numbers, okay, and that just shows you what I did was I pulled my power to idle at the numbers, and I... I um, at the cones. At the cones, that's right. what I meant. I pulled the power to idle at the cones, and I kept as little energy as possible in the plane by keeping it nose up. Did you see how slow my airspeed was? I did not look down. I okay, was trying to that's fine. do the eyesight. I had, I had about 55 knots of airspeed coming down there on short final. Okay. Um, you want to keep 62 is technically the final approach speed for a short field landing. You want to keep 62 all the way until your point, but what you do after that is kind of up to how far you're trying to glide. Um, so I slowed way down, and you could feel how the plane didn't float at all. We just came down, quick flare, boom, touchdown. Right. And it wasn't the softest touchdown either. But you got it down. 
I got it down. I wasn't trying to, I'm not doing a soft field landing. <laughs> I'm doing a short field landing. And we still don't want to bounce it, but. I'm gonna do it one more time. This time when I get above the cones, I'm pulling my power to idle and I'm gonna pitch way down, get into ground effect, gain a bunch of speed, and then just show you how far we can float. So you can really see the determining factor in when I touch down is not the power usage, because I pulled my power to idle both times. The determining factor is what I do with my pitch. Okay. So basically you're showing me what to do and then what not to do, in essence. Uh, yes, but at the same time, I'm showing you what to do for two different situations. Okay. Chroma County traffic 2386 Victor is downwind runway 22, come on. Because let's say the first situation is our obstacle is really close to the edge of the runway. You want to do that landing that I just did to get down as quick as possible after the obstacle. You know, let's say the obstacle is, you know, a couple hundred feet after or before the runway is. You'll do this next one where you get below the obstacle, but you get into ground effect and you float for a while, and then you can control exactly when you touch down. Where would no? Sorry, what? Downwind Where would the obstacle be on this landing? Runway. Obstacle is in the same exact spot. I'm just pretending like the runway isn't starting until a little bit further up. Um, Our departure. Like it, like the obstacle is a little bit farther back. From. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Again, I'm talking a lot, <laughs> so I'm like. <laughs> I just need to show you. Yeah, part, part of it's the showing, the doing, and me repeating it. Yep. The full concept. 900. Okay, boom, there's the cones. Power to idle. Pitching down. Getting into ground effect. That's still considered a short field landing. Right. Claremont, County, I did it two very different ways. Left base, runway 22, Claremont. Very daunting. Running out over the grass. Like, you're like, okay, I'm just going to land in the grass. Yeah. <laughs> so it didn't go as well as I thought it was going to go, and I'm going to take responsibility for this one. I'll give you the plane on downwind, and then um, we'll have you try your first short field landing. We got out there and I was basically trying to explain too much too quickly to her. So I started performing the takeoffs and landings, showing them to her, and it seemed like she was kind of on track when I was doing them. And then when she was trying to do it herself, it was just too much information and too many new things happening. All right, looking pretty good. Right, both flaps, 65. Two. And pitching down, right? Yep, power idle, pitch down a bit, and keep it down. I know it's hard, I know it's hard. Keep it there, 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 keep it there. Okay, now round out. Now when we sink here, bring it the flare in. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Oh. Yep. Did you feel that? It's a lot quicker, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's less float. Right. You just have less energy to... Yeah, exactly. Start. Simple as that. Today was difficult. I was disappointed that I didn't get it down or understand the concept enough um, to at least do one kind of decent one. Still so wrong. <laughs> See, with this turn, too, you could have gone a little bit further forward. I know, I saw that. I saw that. Gotta make it parallel with us, basically, before I turn. Okay, so there's the nose. So, brakes. Right, window. <sighs> brakes hold. Power full. You're looking at your engine instruments. You're looking at your RPM. That is high. That is good. That is good. That is good. Release I the brakes. Speed down. Right rudder. A little bit of forward pressure, not too much. There you go. There's 55, rotate. Awesome, now keep it, bring it up more. Yeah, right there. That's it. Okay, clear obstacle. All right, so now pitch, flaps up. 
Uh, not yet, we want to accelerate towards VY. There we go. All right, now you can bring your flaps up. Good job without looking. And now you see I need that back pressure when you do it, so flaps up, nose up, that's why I say that. But you didn't say it. I'm sorry, I didn't <laughs> say it. I joke, I joke, I joke. That was good. Good job. So the reason we don't want to take our flaps out right away is because taking our flaps out increases our stall speed. Um, so if we're slow, we don't want to take our flaps out because that's we're getting closer to our stall speed by doing that. So that's why we like to gain energy. Also, the plane likes to sink when we take flaps out. So those two things combine. The recipe for disaster. That's right. Go back. Oh, it's so hot. It is so hot. Sure is Bound like traffic. Uh, what bull. It yeah, I don't like... want even. I don't want to lean forward because I know. <laughs> I know it's you're gonna... just not even going to come off the seat. Basically. Yeah. And you're getting AC in the Baron, so you can't complain for too much longer. <laughs> All right, power back to 15. Rocking and rolling. 10. So you always say 15, but you go to 18. What? See, I think it's just because I pull and I feel like I hear it go to 15. Yeah. All right, 15, pitching for 85. I missed it. It's okay. Run up these speeds. All right, pitching. I'm getting confused. Pitch oh. down to go faster, yeah. Climber County, 2386 Victor, turning final, runway 22, Climber County. All right, pitching for 65, I am low. So the other part of a short field landing is max braking once we're on the ground. Okay. That does not mean skidding the plane. That just means heavy brakes and also aerodynamic braking by wow, pulling. Wow, what is the... going on here? Are you just so trimmed? A little bit more power. There you go. That's there's that float. All right, gun bring power out. We're we're a bit high, so yeah, by are. the time we descend, it'll be good. Pitch down more. Down more. You got to keep it down because we don't want to lose energy yet. Oh, come on. Uh, Bring it up. Traffic. 176 Mike Echo, entering left base on runway 22. So we got, that's max braking, good job. You can release it. It kind of started off with my pattern work. My pattern work was really all over the place. I couldn't get um, a steady speed. Um, then my pitch was off, so I'm chasing my pitch, I'm chasing my speed. I'm just, I'm kind of all over the place. Um, so every time we would set up for short field, I'm kind of chaotic. And then having that much pitch down on a on a soft or on a short field is just it doesn't seem right. All right. So the reason we had kind of a hard landing there is because we got too slow, too high. So we need to keep that pitch down. Um, even longer in, until we get into ground effect. So we want to be rounding out right over the ground. We don't bring the pitch up until we have that round out right over the ground. Because your round out is like a slow, a gradual round out as you're descending, and that's not what we want. We want to keep it down and then round out. We also have quite the headwind, so it feels like you're going really <laughs> slow because our ground speed is only 55. Five, yeah. She started to get really overwhelmed while we were flying, and it's because there was so much new information, and that affected her flying. She felt like she couldn't even do a normal pattern kind of by the end of it. All right, more power and more pitch down. Climber County, six mic echo, turning left face runway 22. This just seems wrong. Again, the wind Climber is County, really... Whipping, all right, so I'm pitching for 65. Yep. To the uh, southeast, inbound for midfield left downwind, 2 2 clear. Uh, too fast. It's okay, go ahead and pull your power to idle. 
Claremont County, 6 Mike Echo, turning final, runway 22, Claremont. Pitch down more. Claremont traffic, sky lane, 601. Now bring it. Two to the west. Be crossing midfield at 2500. Good job. I really felt that it was time to go back inside and regroup, talk about it on the, on the ground. So that's what we did. If you're okay with it, we'll call it for tonight. Um, Claremont County 2386 Victor is clear 22 Claremont County. And we'll we'll just talk. We'll, we need to go inside and talk on the ground about some things because yeah, it's just I'm, it's not quite clicking in your brain yet, and it's hard yeah. to apply something yeah, that you I, don't understand. I, so I don't disagree. Yeah. What we should have done first was had a little bit of a ground lesson before we went to fly and talked about the short field and soft field takeoffs and landings, what they are, why we do them, the actual performing of the maneuvers themselves. Yeah, I, otherwise I'm just gonna... You're not gonna understand gonna doing it. doing wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I get it. I was a little disappointed that Matt just kind of called it short instead of working on it, but he now knows my personality and knows my um, limitations, I guess, um, of if, if, if I keep going, I'm just going to get worse if I'm, if I'm frustrated. Um, but I honestly, I really didn't think I did horrible. I wish my pattern work was more steady so that I could focus on doing the short field. So she wasn't really ready for this lesson, but that's not her fault because she didn't really know what she was getting into. So I'm going to take responsibility for this one. And uh, we came back inside and we talked about it for a while on the ground. And now she understands it a lot more than she did when we were out there trying to fly it. Wow, that. this is quite the... That's what I'm like. I'm t I... Just because of the wind. Do you want me to there take it? Go. I'll try it, but okay. just be ready to... Yeah, I got you. <laughs> 